A major goal for the pants build system is to empower you to scale furiously, meaning that as you add more code and as you add more teammates, it's still a joy and it's still productive to work in your repository, regardless of how big it ends up being. One of the classic problems when you have a really big code base is that it suddenly becomes really hard to adopt tools like linters, like Flake 8, and type checkers like MyPy. What used to be a 30-minute project to update your entire repository suddenly becomes a multi-day project. Some tools like Black have settings in their config file to skip certain files so that you can adopt the tool incrementally. But a lot of tools out there like iSort still don't give you a mechanism to incrementally adopt the tool. Instead, one of the things that Pants does to help you scale furiously is give you a consistent mechanism to incrementally adopt tools like linters and formatters and type checkers. So for example, in this project, we want to add the black auto formatter, but for some reason, we can't yet add it to this util folder. So we can run this command called pantslint, which will run all four of our linters and formatters. We see here that it worked for the file parser.py, but it failed on string util.py. Again, we can't yet update and fix this file, but we do in general want to keep running black over the rest of the code base. We also want to run our three other linters and formatters like flake8 over this file string util.py. So pants allows us to update the metadata for this code so that we can skip black specifically on that file, but run it on everything else. We do that through a thing called a build file. Build files are how you set metadata for your code in pants. They're normally auto-generated, normally really small files, only about one to two lines because we have sensible defaults. So we can set this option, skip black equals true, and it will tell Pants that for all the files in this folder, we don't want to run the black auto formatter. We could also set skip flake 8 or skip my pipe. Now we're going to run the same command. We can see that this time we got all green check marks and black only ran over one file instead of the two. The main benefit is that now we can run this command pantslint colon colon which will run over our entire repository and do the right thing for us, knowing to skip all of those files in the util folder, but run black over everything else. So when you're incrementally adopting a tool, your developers don't need to run some custom bash script or keep track of how to invoke each tool the right way. They only need to run pants lint and pants will do the right thing for you.